Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Cybel Explains. This video is all about solving problems involving simple interests. We have the first problem here. When John bought a new office phone, he borrowed 17,500 pesos at a rate of 2% per month for 6 months. How much interest did he pay? Before we will answer that, we have to know first what is interest. In finance and in economics, interest is payment from a borrower or deposit-taking financial institution to a lender or depositor of an amount above repayment of the principal sum, that is, the amount borrowed at a particular rate. So it is better if you will identify our principal the rate of interest, and of course, the time borrowed. Our principal here is 17,500 pesos. The rate of interest is 2% and John will borrow it for 6 months. We have the formula, interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So we have 17,500 times 2% times 6. We have to convert 2% to decimal. Since percent is always equivalent to 100, that will be 2 out of 100. If you will divide 2 by 100, you will get 2 hundredths. That's why we have 0 0.02 there. Then copy 6. We're ready to multiply 17,500 and 2 hundredths. In order for us to get the product, whatever is the product, we will just multiply it to 6 because we have 6 months and we will get that's 350 pesos times 6 that will give us 2100 pesos that is our final answer this is the amount that John will have to pay after borrowing 17,500 pesos we have the next problem here Mr. Farillon invested 250,000 pesos into a savings account at a local bank that earns 1.5% interest per year. How much does he earn in 5 years? As what I have said, it is better if we identify our principal, the rate of interest, and the time. For the principal, that's 250,000 pesos. For the rate, that's 1.5%. And for the time, that's five years we will still use the same formula and that's interest is equal to principal times rate times time now let's substitute we have here 250,000 pesos times 1.5 percent times 5 we have to convert 1.5 percent to decimal that will be 0 0.015 because when you divide 1.5 by 100 it gives 0 0.015 and we're ready to multiply 250,000 pesos times 0 0.015 and we will get 3,750 but we still need to multiply it to 5 our final answer is 18,750 pesos this is what will Mr. Farillon will gain after investing his money for 5 years? We have the next problem. Elena borrowed 29,500 pesos at 5% interest for 2 years to buy a computer for her online classes. How much money did she have to pay after 2 years? For this case, we're not only looking for the interest, but of course the total amount. What do you mean by that? We just need to add the interest and the principal to get the total amount. Our principal is 29,500 pesos. The rate of interest is 5% and the time is 2 years. The formula that we'll be using or the following, we have the interests is equal to principal times rate times time total amount we'll just add the interest plus the principal okay let's substitute we have here the interest is equal to 29,500 pesos times 5% 
times 2 years. The 5% is 0 0.05 because if you will divide 5 by 100, the answer is 0 0.05. Now, we will multiply 29,500 and 500. We will have 1,475. Just multiply it to 2 because we have 2 years. And that will be 2,950 pesos. This is the interest that she has to pay. But we are looking for the total amount that she has to pay after two years. So just simply add the interest and the principal. That's 2,950 plus 29,500. That will be a total of 32,450 pesos. Now it is your time to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. I'll be waiting for your answer. The question is, find the total amount Jean has to pay for borrowing 45,000 pesos at 12% per year for 6 months. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!